Wapendwa watu wangu wa vihiga mulembe. Bandu banje mulembe. Hebu tusalimiane kwa hewa mirembe mirembe. Siku ya leo ni siku ya muhimu kwangu mimi binafsi kwa familia yangu na kwa watu wa vihiga kwa jumla nimeombwa na watu ya media ya kwamba nitoe hotuba yangu rasmi ambayo inafaa iende kwa vyombo vya habari kwa hivyo mtaniruhusu kwanza kabisa nisome kwa kimombo hotuba yangu Ladies and gentlemen I feel privileged to stand before this gathering and share my thoughts with all of you here present This is a gracious opportunity and time that God has created for us to meet as representatives of the great people of Vihiga County and bound together by common culture, beliefs and aspirations. Today is a great day that I take pride in by appearing before you once again this time to make a very brief but critical statement regarding your overwhelming wish and desire that I consider serving you people of Vihiga County in a different capacity. But before I say much, I would like to sincerely applaud all of you who found time out of your busy schedules to enthusiastically attend and participate in the numerous consultative meetings from the 25 wards of Vihiga the destiny of our beloved county in matters of development and politics. Ladies and gentlemen, devolution envisioned a great county that would take its pride of, of place in the country based on the talent and capability of its citizens that would, would ensure justice, equity, and economic productivity for better living standards which by and large are directly influenced by the quality of leadership and governance in our society. Unfortunately, these dreams and aspirations among our people have faded in time. As many residents of Yiga are still stuck in a vicious cycle of poverty, fueled by high rates of unemployment, low productivity, productivity poor delivery of government services, as well as bad governance. These challenges and obstacles, ladies and gentlemen, have, overcome, have been overcome by other counties to fairer extent, counties whose residents were lucky enough to install responsible and accountable leadership through the power of the government. We must ask the current county administration hard questions about the promises they made about our security healthcare, agriculture, productivity, women and children's rights, roles, youth empowerment, and so forth. It is sad that after nine years of devolution, Vihiga County is still struggling with the basics. Nine years of devolution, we are still struggling with the basics. Even with the promulgation of the 2020 Constitution, which entrenched the devolved systems of governance and seemingly fairer allocation of resources to various devolved units across the country, many Vihiga people, if not all, still continue to lead strained livelihoods, resulting from a myriad of challenges, key among them poor delivery of services. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya has so far implemented at least 10 years of devolved system of governance since the onset of devolution, which have generally formed the foundation within which new structures of social and political development 
have been established. Having served in the Senate, I can attest that the national government has been committed to ensuring consistent allocation and cash disbursement to county governments, albeit with delays. But it is unfair for anyone to use cash disbursement hitches as an excuse to justify poor or non-delivery of essential government services, as has been witnessed here in Vihiga. I dare say here that majority of the problems that Vihiga residents have faced have to do with poor planning, inverted priorities, corruption, incompetence, and failure to comply with various regulations. Predominant gaps in leadership and administration, coupled with poor management of the available resources, both financially and human, have resulted in stagnation of social and economic development and failed realization of devolution dreams. As voters, therefore, you have an, an, an entitlement to access government services and hold those in government positions to account in respect of their respective responsibilities. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. The same way you hired those in office through your ballot, it is also within your prerogative to relieve them of such responsibilities. As regards our great county of Vihiga, a huge proportion of devolved functions under the care of pioneer county executives, first term under His Excellency Moses Akaranga, and second term under His Excellency Dr. Wilbur Otichiro, remain largely mismanaged, either due to lack of goodwill of the implementers or lack of capacity to execute the functions or both. It is unfortunate that Vihiga County has nothing to show off despite having received more than 36 billion in the past two terms. Ladies and gentlemen, I dare say it is, the, it is the high time we all come together and pull in a new direction that will restore hope and a sense of dignity to our people. I'm before you today saying that it is time we shatter the downward spiral to nowhere. I am before you today standing with the people of Vihiga, experiencing crushing poverty, living on less than 100 shillings a day, I am before you today because of our youth, able men and women who are unemployed and underemployed. I have listened to the voices of the people from all corners of this county and their wishes to open a new chapter of the county leadership which guarantees fairness, equity, adherence to the rule of law, zero tolerance to corruption, as well as inclusive leadership which gives credence to the philosophy of public participation and proper prioritization of needs of our people. I am also alive to your expectation to have a well-coordinated and organized government which knows no tribalism, nepotism, favoritism, but one which values cohesion, transparency, and excellency in the service delivery to the people of this county. Ladies and gentlemen, after a careful and well thought out soul searching and having sought the guidance of the almighty God I hereby wish to declare that I Senator George Munyasa Haniri will be seeking the mandate of the people of the county of Vihiga to be the next governor in the next general <laughs> Having served with ded dedication and excellency in various capacities, including as MP and Senator, I strongly believe, as you rightly do, that the wealth of experience I have gained over the years and with the support that you have always given me will enable me to perform exemplary well as your next governor. <laughs> Ah! 
my people, leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. The first responsibility of a leader is to define reality. The last is to say thank you, to say thank you. In between the leader is a servant. I am ready and capable of being that for the people of Vihiga. We have lost our place in devolution. We have lost our place in devolution. The time has come for us to fix this great county. In the words of the decorated Nigerian author Chinua Achebe, if you find water rising to your ankle, that is the time you do something about it. Not when it is around your neck. The dawn has come, my people, for a radical change in the political leadership of Vihiga. The dawn has come, my people, for a 21st century leader to lead us into the new different future, a leader equipped with the skills, intellect, and competence to wage a decisive war against poverty and employment. My people, the dawn has come for a visionary, competent, and inclusive leader that truly cares about its people. The 16th President of the United States, the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, said, be with a leader when he is right. Stay with, stay with him when he is still right. But leave him when he is wrong. The power is in your hands. The dawn has come, my people, for the Vihiga people, for, for Vihiga in which our youth can fulfill their full potential and our daughters can aspire to any opportunity they desire. I offer myself to be in front. The battle to reorient Vihiga in a strong, capable county in a strong, capable county requires competence, capacity, and character. And as a citizen who aspires to be the governor, I possess all the three. Under my leadership, my government will strive to unite the people of Vihiga irrespective of their tribes, religion, clans, or even political orientation and establish a new foundation of hope and pride among all. I will be launching my manifesto and campaigns early, early next year, God granting life. To this end, I wish to make a special appeal to all residents who are eligible to vote to acquire the necessary required documentation to participate in the forthcoming general elections as voters. I also appeal to those seeking various elective positions to embrace peace, tolerance, in the general election in the country. As I wind up my remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to reassure you and the entire county that I remain open and consultations and that I will continue to diligently discharge my current duties and responsibilities until such a time as provided in the law to the next step, to take the next step. I'm here by today because I want, I'm here today because I want what is best for my county. I would like to end my speech by thanking my family for the support, people of Hamisi and the people of Vihiga at large for believing in me and having confidence in me. I am so proud of you. Thank you very much. I make... I make a solemn promise to you, my people, and this promise I make from the bottom of my heart, that I shall never let you down. Just hold on, sir. One minute, sir. Uh, I'm a Maliza official speech, sasa tunenda kwa recap. Give us just a few seconds kindly. Okay. 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 
Kwanza kabisa nichukue nafasi hii kurudisha shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye amekuwa mwema ametutengea siku ya leo. Tumejumuika kwa uwanja huu kuja kunisikiza nikiyasema yale ambayo nimeyanakili kwa lugha ya kimombo. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa kutuongoza wale wametoka mbalimbali mbali, kufika hapa salama salamini. Pili nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni washukuru nyinyi wote ambao mmeacha shughuli zenu mbalimbali sio ya kwamba mlikosa kazi ya kufanya siku ya leo kila mmoja alikuwa na shughuli zake za kifamilia za ki, na kadhalika lakini mmeacha shughuli hizo kuja kukuwa na nyimi hapa i want to say thank you and i thank you from the bottom of my heart Nataka pia nichukue nafasi hii kuwashukuru marafiki wangu ambao niliwaalika waje wakuwa wageni wangu wa heshima na watawautubia na wamepata pia nafasi ya kufika hapa na kujumuika na sisi. Leo ilikuwa siku yetu ya watu wa vihiga sikualika wageni kutoka nje wengi. Lakini niko na marafiki ambao wako karibu sana na roho yangu. Na nikasema siwezi kukuwa na siku yangu kubwa bila kuwaalika ili waje pia nao kuambia kuwaeleza nyinyi urafiki wangu na hao. Wa kwanza kabisa ni ndugu yangu mkubwa mheshimiwa Silas Shahalaka Khwajirongo. Ambaye yuko na sisi hapa. Wa pili ni rafiki wangu wa karibu kabisa Senator wa County ya Vihiga, Senator Enok Wambua ambaye yuko hapa. Kitui, sorry, Kitui. Senator wa Kitui, sorry, Kitui. Nilisema nini? Senator inaonekana wakati naacha hii kiti labda ukuja uchukue hii hapa. Anasema wako tayari kuja kuwa senator wetu wa Vihiga. Lakini ni senator wa Kitui. Na watatu rafiki yangu ndugu yangu mdogo ambaye pia yeye ni commissioner tunakaa na kwa commission ya parliamentary service commission. Senator wa county ya Kericho ndugu yangu bwana Aaron Senator Aaron Cheriot kijana mdogo Ngawaje yeye ni tangatanga atakuja kutueleza mambo yake ya tangatanga hapa Wil, Muti ya Wilbaro Nilikuwa nime, nimealika pia Senator Wambua ni waipa Senator Cheriot ni UDA wa tanga, e, wa, e, Wilbaro Nilikuwa nimealika Senator wa Kilifi ambaye ni ODM retired justice steward Mazayo lakini ameshikika kidogo hangeweza kufika na nikawa nimealika ndugu yangu wa Ford Kenya Senator wa Bungoma Mheshimiwa Masika wa Tangula ambaye amepatwa na msiba na ameenda kwa mazishi siku ya leo ambaye hatukutarajia Kwa hivyo nataka kuwashukuru hao ndio wachache ambao nilialika kuja kushuhudia nikitangaza msimamo wangu wa kisiasa tunapoenda katika kura ya